How's this for a winning combination? Legos and trains. The Puget Sound Lego Train Club displays a modular model railroad layout at train shows around the Seattle region, and this video shows their setup at this year's Great American Train Show in Puyallup. I consider this to be impressionist art at its finest. This is Burr Stewart, and follow along with me as I try to curb my enthusiasm for this wonderful setup. There were many other great modular layouts on display too, and in the weeks ahead you can watch my channel here for some additional videos in this series on modular railroading in Seattle. For more information on the Puget Sound LEGO Train Club, go to their website psltc.org. This is how to do LEGO Town right. As you know, in my layout I have a little tiny LEGO Town, but this is the way to do it. This is serious. This is a whole group of people in the Puget Sound area who love building Legos. Oh, look at that. You've got to love going through S-curves. If you don't, I'll do it for you. Love it, that is. So you can see we got a couple of main tracks and an incredible amount of detail on all of these spots. So just for variety, let's go clockwise around this layout and see what we can figure out. This looks like some sort of a racing, a race track. You can see the race cars there. Another great train. I'll focus in on that train next time I see it. See, they had, they had some sort of a crash with the race cars. Oh well. Oh, we can watch this again. Let's watch this go through all those S-curves. I don't know, to me that's just one of the coolest things about railroading. Long cars going through short curve switches. Very good. I think these uh, windmills probably have motors in them, but for some reason they're not running them right now. Now, I really want to look at these cars on this train. Whoops, like that. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there, but somebody had a lot of fun putting together those cars. Now we move to another zone where we have some sort of a huge plant. Some trees. I don't know what kind of plant this is. But it has a... Uh, a elevated railroad around it and it looks like it's a sawmill wouldn't you guess a bunch of log cars and there goes that light rail vehicle don't want to miss that you don't want to miss that I suppose I could install one of those oh look it has a end bumper I can put one of those in my Lego town. It's got a nice sharp radius curve. I'll have to consider that. Anyway, I just wanted you to see the detail of these log cars. Very nice. And the complexity of that sawmill. It's all built with Legos. And I don't want to miss how nice these trees look. Look at that. What a beautiful modeling. In, a, in an ostrich farm. How about that? I'm telling you, people are just incredibly creative. So we'll move on to the next town. There's a some sort of a downtown city block along there. And here we come to a radio tower and an intermodal facility. Bunch of containers. That's kind of cool. And here comes the freight train. They're all going way too fast for me, but the kids are enjoying it. So now we have what looks like an engine terminal. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that Lego locomotive with the, with the prime mover inside. How about that? 
I'm telling you. This is model railroading at its finest. It's sort of, you could think of this as impressionist model railroading. Since the detail is only at the scale of a Lego block. But it's great. So this is some sort of a main switching yard. And I suppose for different modular setups, they could probably keep expanding this yard to a larger size. And look at that, a big viaduct going all the way to the floor. Very, very nice. And then on the other side, a harbor. Looks like a, a Lego campground. Oh, they did get us. They did get one of those windmills turning. Very nice. So here's the train going over the viaduct. Very, very good. I'm telling you, there's nothing about this I don't like. This is spectacular. A nice campground with boats of all kinds. Imagine the fun of putting all this together. There is that working windmill. There's some agriculture going on. And now we work our way over to the main city. Now this is not Lego Town, this is Lego City. Because we have some serious... Well, I guess here we have a little bit more in the way of suburbs because we have a what you might call a truck farm. How about that? Now this is a train we saw before on the whole other side of the layout. And now we're looking all the way downtown, the downtown streets, along what you might call the L. That particular uh, Elevated line doesn't seem to be working right now. But we'll forgive them. So here's some kind of action. Maintenance of way equipment, maybe, with a crane for loading supplies. That's what I would guess. That's some sort of a forklift truck or... No, a tamper? Yeah, this is for uh, rail uh, railroad uh, track revitalization. Very nice. Here in the corner, we have an observatory. I don't know if they have a camera in there taking a picture of me, but that would be a clever thing to do. So there's an overview of the Lego City and the Lego Modular Club layout. There's a Waffle House. We call that a pancake house, I guess. And there's a lot of interesting things going on in these big buildings. I'll let you see them. There's an Ikea and various kinds of ads. Really impressive city. There's the elevated line where the girders supporting it. And there's a nice, very active bar there. A bunch of people enjoying themselves. Here's our famous passenger train that was going through the S curves. That looks like a fire station. And over in the distance there, I don't know what that is on the hillside. Looks like some sort of a mine, a European style mine. I guess that's what that is. And here we have a bunch of row houses, modern, modern row houses. Very nice. And I don't know what's, oh, that must be a passenger station over there. Look at that. Passenger trains in there and Passengers waiting to get on. You can see the front door of the passenger station. Now we get to see the zigzag from a completely different angle near the passenger station.
Well, I think that pretty much takes us to the end of this this modular layout. Sorry about the jiggling of the handheld camera. I lost my other camera due to incompetence on my part. Learning curve, I guess you could call it. So, one last corner feature. We've got a nice little uh, lighthouse with a house for the tender of the lighthouse and you can see it rotating around. See the lighthouse? Light itself. How cool is that? Very nice. All right, one last view of the S curves from the third angle and we'll call it good. Whoa. I'm talking about wiggle. That's what you call wiggling. Holy cow. Going by the passenger station and on through the city. So there you have the Lego layout. Cool, right?